Okay, what length should a pan pipe be? One end open, one end close, if it's to create a fundamental frequency of 261 hertz. And then it says, what's the frequency of the third harmonic, right? So let's draw these guys. Okay, here's a pipe. I'll draw it sideways here just for fun. Okay, here's this guy. And the fundamental looks like, right? And then uh, let's draw the other end. Let's draw a second. Sometimes you have to draw them all before you can, like, Right, this, the next harmonic looks like the little fish guy. Right? And then let's draw the third harmonic just for fun. Especially since we're being asked about that. So it goes, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so this guy here, okay, I know that the length of that pipe is one quarter of the wavelength. I just don't know the wavelength, so let's figure that out. Okay, so V is F lambda, therefore lambda is uh, V over F, right? So in this case, it's 343 is our, our velocity. All right, so that's this guy here. And then here's our frequency. Divide that by 261 hertz. So 343 divided by 261 is 1.3141, I'll say 1.8 meters. I'm just rounding here, or not rounding. Okay, so there's our wavelength, so I can go, okay, so this guy is going to equal, I don't need the comma, I guess, right? It equals one quarter of 1.31418 dot 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 meters, right? So if I divide that by four, the number I got on my calculator, I got 0 0.3285, 0 0.85, and then something. So it'll ground to 0 0.329 meters, right? Okay, so that's how long that pipe is. Um, and then the, what is the frequency of the third harmonic? Two ways you can do that. The, the simple way is that these things go F naught, 3 F naught, 5 F naught, and then it's all the odd, um, Things. So the third harmonic, one, two, three, would be five times that. So five times 261 is 1305 hertz. Now let's suppose you forget this, that you don't write this in your little cheat sheet, that, it, that the pattern is 1F naught, 3F naught, 5F naught, 7F naught, 9F naught, etc. Let's say you forget that. You still can get it. Let's just show you that. Here's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, right? Okay, so this is 0.3285 meters. All right, that's that length here. So now I can say um, 0.3285 meters equals how many quarter? One, two, three, four, five quarter wavelengths. Okay. So, uh, divided by, let's see, hold on, I'm just getting that number there. Okay, so I've got that 0.32. I'm actually using the totally unrounded version of this, right? And now I'm just going to solve for lambda. I'm going to go uh, this times 4 divided by 5. So that times 4 divided by 5. So 0.3285 times 4 divided by 5, right? So lambda is 5 quarters of 0.3285. I get that the, the actual wavelength is 0 0.26283, et cetera, et cetera, right, meters, okay? And now I can find the, the, the frequency, right? Uh, frequency is, I'll put it down here. The velocity is frequency times wavelength, and frequency is velocity over wavelength, right? So the frequency here is 343 meters per second, that's our velocity again, right? Divided by this new wavelength, 0.26283, etc. So I go 343 divided by the answer I got, and I get 1305. So hope is not lost. If you forget this, you can always draw the picture. You just have to know what the first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, it looks like, yeah?